hello guys you are welcome back to my youtube channel my name is yomi adu the ceo of aerob travels and tours during my last video i said that the country of syria alone is a safe place for investors it is a very very good country where investors can put their money and go to rest because once you invest in this country i can assure you that there is going to be a guarantee of maximum profit that you are going to make in this investment now today i'm going to be talking about two different investments as i promised in my last video that i will be taking time to talk about what and what you can put your money in this country as in what kind of business you can put your money in this country the first one i'm going to talk about today is uber business any city where uber has launched drivers are able to go online at any time as well and have full flexibility to choose when and where they receive business the experience begins when a rider requests a trip the closest driver to that rider automatically receives the trip request and has 15 seconds to accept. Once they have accepted the trip, the driver then simply proceeds to the rider's location and notifies the rider when they have arrived by tapping the Arriving Now button. When the passenger gets in the vehicle, the driver begins the trip and navigates to the chosen destination. You need a taxi and the taxi will come maybe after 4, 5, 10 minutes, the taxi will come and take you to wherever destination you are going you see such is not available in this country and i think people in this country especially syrianians in diaspora africans generally i want us to look at this direction and see how we can put money in cuba business in this country late to a pickup is one of the most common reasons a driver receives a rating below five stars because riders expect their driver to arrive at the pickup location quickly we suggest drivers only go online and accept trips when they are already in the vehicle and ready to drive using a gps device is also highly recommended and so is studying the city during downtime the easier you can navigate the city the happier your clients will be and the more efficient you will be with your time Riders also love using the Uber application because drivers pay attention to detail. If you open the door for the rider, provide cold water, or have extra phone chargers on hand for your client, you are always more likely to receive a five-star rating. I'm going to sample the opinions of few people just around where I am. I want to know those who are familiar about Uber, and those who do not understand anything called uber at all so it's as simple as i said what do you know about uber have you heard about uber before what can you say about uber so that's what i will just ask a few people around here so let's go together do you know about uber what is uber okay what is uber uh, yeah. all right uber is a digital transportation yeah so i want to know if you know about it no i don't know 
Yes. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hello. Yes, I think um, in Sierra Leone we find it difficult to move from one place to another simply because we do not have um, mobile app or transport system in our phone that takes us from point to point. I could remember when I was in the US, I get stranded at the airport. My brother could not reach me on time. So somebody introduced Uber to me and I had to download the app immediately and I was able to use the app. And not too distant minutes or so, I was taken direct home since that day. I've not been calling people to pick me at the airport. I've used it in Ghana. I've used it in South Africa. All the places that I've been to that are using Uber is just too convenient for people. So I see no reason why Sierra Leone should be an ex exception. I would rather prefer if you have the time or anybody, even me, if I have the money today, I have the capacity, I will definitely go into um, um, Uber business. You understand? The other day, uh, again, I was in the US. Um, somebody was introducing me to somebody and uh, it's like he, he, the lady was asking whether I'm here to stay. If I'm going to stay, why do I go into, why shouldn't I go into uh, Uber business? I said, no, I can't because I'm going back. You know, something like that. So this but important. We definitely see how best Uber can be introduced in Sierra Leone. I think it's it's interesting, it's comfortable, it's safe. You know, you have nothing to worry about when using Uber. Yeah, that's my thoughts. All right, guys, having talked about the first one, which is that digital driving or digital transportation business that we call Uber business. The next one I want to go to, which I feel people should invest their money in, is digital restaurants. What do I mean by that? Okay, take for instance, this particular location where I am, uh, the business is you know usually happen here in the evening in the evening as you can see there's a beach behind me so business happens here in the evening but i told the young man that is helping me to handle my camera today i asked i said okay i'm hungry where can i get food to eat he said there's no food now until evening time all right so that done on me again that wow assuming there is a digital restaurant all i need you know like uber heat like a glovo all i need to do is to talk to my phone order for the kind of food that i need and before you know it the food will come over so i think our business people i think investors all over africa especially Sierra Leoneans who live within Sierra Leone and those who live abroad. They should look at this direction too. Having a digital restaurant. You just cook your food, let people know that, okay, this is what you are doing. And before you know it, people will start ordering for it. And the reason is this, there are a lot of foreigners staying, living in this country. So what it means is that, of course, you don't expect foreigners to be cooking all the time. What they need will be something like this, a digital kitchen. Just talk to their phone and before you know it, the food will arrive. 
and they will have whatever meals they have ordered for. I tell you, how can we empower our people? How can we make our continent better? It is true investment. So today, I have spoken about two different investments. Digital transportation business, what we call Uber. You know, Uber is, just an, is, a very, is the most common among them all. You know, Uber application, boat application, in-driver application, taxify, and the rest of them. Okay, th these ones are very common. And the second one I talked about is the digital kitchen or digital restaurant. You know, just cook the food and let it go viral before you know, you know, like global, uh, global like Uber Eats, before you do it, people will start patronizing. And that is a kind of creating employment even in Sierra Leone. There are a lot of young men, young guys, young ladies out there. Do you know that if you have, uh, you know, if, if we have Uber here, we have both, if we have both in this country, young men and women will be gainfully employed. You understand what I'm saying? So that's a kind of elevating poverty in the country. So I want to believe the right people who are supposed to hear this, they are hearing. Okay, and for those of you, if today is the first time you are coming to this channel, I tell you it is not by accident. All I want you to do is to subscribe to my channel, Area of Travels and Tours, then like the video and also share the video. You see, if you like it, if you like this video, there is a way a YouTube algorithm We also show the same video to other people all over the world. And I'm sure you will want this particular video to go viral. I want us to develop Serial Leone together. And I wish you all the best. So subscribe, like, and share this video. Till I come your way again. I remain sincerely yours. Yomi Adu.